Hi, everyone. I'm Scott Bogren, Editor-in-Chief of Digital CT Magazine, and this is my editor's note about a very special edition of Digital CT, one that we have been uh, kind of planning and perfecting for months and that we're so pleased to bring to you today our look at a day in the life of public and community transportation and under the guise as we have it as what if a day in the life of mobility. And we set out uh, months ago to try to come up with a way to capture as best we could all that our industry does from smallest towns to the biggest cities and, and, and capture a slice in time of all that happens in the industry and, and all the successful outcomes that our members and you create every day. And I think you can think of it in, in a way as uh, one of those artistic images where it's, it's many small photos that when combined together and when one takes a, 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 a large step back, all those small photos become a larger, more cohesive image. And that's kind of what we are attempting to do and I think successfully have done with this edition is tell the stories on an hourly basis of 35 reporters, transit reporters from around the country. And those reporters uh, stretch from the eastern coast of Maine all the way to Hawaii. And they also encompass transit operators in small towns, in big cities, in suburban areas. They constitute mobility managers, drivers, dispatchers, vendors, and they also look a little bit at the kinds of outcomes, medical outcomes and healthcare outcomes, job-related and, 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 and certainly employment outcomes, the, the, the panoply of services and outcomes that you enable every day. And this is our attempt to capture that on one mythical day in the life of community and public transportation. And truly, when you read through this, which I have now had a chance to do, you, you'll, you'll, you'll see that... It is a, we've captured a, a day of many great things, and it really does prove that there are um, many different paths that our members and that you take every day to create mobility for all Americans. And that's what this is all about, and that's what this edition of the magazine attempts to capture. And we, we in no way think that this captures everyone. Uh, uh, we, we think we've caught a, a good breadth of, of, of types and services, but we know as well that there are always uh, new and efficient ways that we may not have been able to capture in this. And I'd be eager to hear from you if you would have some things you'd like to add in if, we, uh, if and when we do this again in the future. You'll also see when you look at the layout of the publication that in addition to just the, the elongated timeline, which is on Eastern time, uh, not only because uh, we here are on Eastern time, but also because it was a, a way to kind of centralize and organize. So when you see an entry that says 7 a.m. in Washington State, well, that really means 4 a.m. local time in Washington State. It was just a way to kind of be consistent about how we provide that information. But when you're going through the, uh, the publication, we also have some um, of our regular feature articles that I think you're, you're going to want to look for and, and to make sure that you don't miss those, we have our, our own little uh, newsboy icon and I'm holding this up here so you can take a look and see where you see this icon, click and there'll be more information either about that system or about the topic that was covered in the timeline and, and, and we're excited. We have a, uh, a special report on dialysis transportation that um, is, it really captures a lot of data, a lot of resources, and talks about some of the outcomes that, that we need to see uh, different in, in, in such a fast-growing part and a challenging part of the public and community transportation environment. There's a uh, NRC report on veterans transportation you won't want to miss. We have a feature on uh, transportation in south-central Pennsylvania, looking at a, a typical kind of best and promising practices on regional transportation in York, PA. Uh, that is a, just a, a great read. We also have an article on one of the most important um, uh, referenda 
that will be taking place this summer in Atlanta and, in, and across Georgia on kind of the future of not just transit, but transportation investment. And, and, and it's an important uh, uh, referenda item that we'll be following throughout the year, but this kind of introduces that. We're also introducing uh, our online pass training from the perspective of, of the organization here. So we've got a lot packed in this edition. It's a, it's a, it's a special edition. It's something we've always wanted to try and, and, and never were, were able to do. And I really want to, to again stress that, that take this day in the life of community transportation, this day in the life of community and public transportation, and understand that on the positive side, when you look at all that's being done, you can also look at it, and we kind of pose that, that question on the cover, what if? What if these services weren't there? And this is just a small slice, very small slice, of what goes on around the country in one 24-hour period. Multiply that times hundreds, if not thousands, of operators, and a lot more than just one day, and the what if becomes a, uh, an even more uh, important question and it speaks, I think, very much to the value that it, that uh, that provided, and what we always like to say is, you know, the 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 great public service that you, our members, are engaged in every day. So, thanks again for taking a look at Digital CT. I hope you enjoy this special edition as much as uh, we've enjoyed putting it together. And I would be remiss if I didn't wish all of you a great, safe, and happy holiday season. Thank you.